Welcome everyone and thanks for tuning in. So something I've struggled with for many years is making money as an artist, how to make a living from what I love to do. Ever since I became passionate about painting and drawing about nine or 10 years ago when I was in college, it never really taught me how to make a living from doing what I love. You know, I thought I'd have to just find projects every month and be a freelancer, graphic designer or whatever. But thanks to the internet and to other business models and business ideas out there and other artists doing similar things, I've kind of learned a lot over the years to make money as an artist. Now I will say there's no clear path when it comes to making money as an artist. I think every artist is individual and they're going to be involved in different things or have different feelings about things. Some artists are just going to want to paint all day and try to get commissions and sell paintings and be in galleries. I had to come up with different ways and different things and I'm still building on these streams of income, but I wanted to share them with you just as ideas. And maybe you guys can also share some other ideas down in the comments below. And also thank you for Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So the first way I make money as an artist is what you're seeing right now through YouTube, creating YouTube videos. So I started this back in 2012 ish, 2013 is when I really started making my first check. I remember the first check I got from YouTube was like, $2.41. I was so excited. I was so happy. I was making like two to five cents per day, very little amount. But I think for me, the important thing, what I saw about YouTube is the potential, the potential for it to grow. And it just helped me overall to actually invest in my business a little bit and pay for my expenses, like the paints and the materials. And it also, in the first two to three years, actually all of my YouTube money just went straight to my student loan debt that I had from college. And I, you know, I wasn't making a whole lot from YouTube back then. I'm still not making a whole lot, but a little bit every month adds up. So the second way I make money as an artist is through selling art. So I wanted to mention in the beginning that this list isn't in any particular order. It's not based on how much each income makes. It's just a list, random list of nine things. Selling art uh, has been kind of a perplexing thing to me over the years. I never really, understood how to do it. You know, do we need to go to galleries? But then I realized with the internet, we can just sell directly to the customer. We can talk to the customer. We can manage the relationships. We don't have to have a middleman. We don't have to have a gallery anymore. And uh, the best way to try to sell is just to push it through all the avenues, you know, newsletter, social media, YouTube, I try to get collectors that way. The third way I make money as an artist is through affiliate, mostly Amazon affiliate. So I normally will post links in the description or in a pinned comment on tutorial videos and I'll list all the materials that I use, you know, the pins, the pencils, the paper, the lighting, my camera, any kind of materials that I use, books that I recommend, books that I've read. I make links for these and when people click the link and they purchase anything for the next 24 hours, they could purchase a bike or a dresser or whatever on Amazon they could purchase. I get a small percentage of that transaction. If someone buys a $10 drawing kit, I end up getting like 40 cents from it, 40 to 50 cents. So it's not a lot of money and it doesn't cost you any extra money. If you're already gonna buy the materials, you might as well use an affiliate link to support me uh, because I recommended that to you. The fourth way I've made money as an artist is by giving private lessons. So I haven't done many of these, but I have done some classes in the past. I've taught at uh, students' houses before. I've gone to their houses or their studio, taught them there. This gave me a lot of experience. And last year with COVID and the pandemic and everything, I started teaching on Zoom or Skype. Near future, I think I'm gonna start doing weekly group Zoom drawing demonstrations, drawing lessons. And I'm not currently doing private lessons right now, but it is some, a way that I've made money in the past. The fifth way I've made money as an artist is through sponsored videos here on YouTube. So this one's kind of connected to YouTube, but it is a different source of income rather than just the Google AdSense from my videos. So my main sponsorship that I've had before is Skillshare. They're actually sponsoring today's video, so it's a great example. Um, but this also has the potential to grow. As my channel grow and my views grow, I can get more sponsorships from different people, different things that I've actually personally used and re recommended. This is a great time to talk about Today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people, probably like yourself. They have many classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, art, video, freelancing, and more. One class I've checked out recently is called Starting a Successful Side Hustle by Ali Abdal. He just goes through the whole process and gives you a lot of great tips and advice for running a successful small business. 
So the cool thing is there's no ads on any of the videos and they're always launching new premium classes. And the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare where you can explore your creativity. So thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. So let's get back into the list. So the sixth way I've made money as an artist is through courses and lesson videos. So in the past, I made a few lesson videos here and there, like an acrylic lesson video when I was doing acrylic. I made a drawing lesson video that didn't really do well and I didn't really promote it. And the thing that I realized with these lesson videos in the past was that I just had lack of knowledge, lack of marketing for how to promote them, how to push them out to people. Earlier this year, I launched the intuitive drawing course and this was my most successful set of videos that I've ever released and also the most comprehensive set of drawing videos I've ever made. Not only is it a way for me to generate money and now I can also use that course in the future. People can purchase it on my website right now. So if you want to check out the intuitive drawing course, basically you start from scratch and you can learn to draw pretty much anything. And it's going to help me to put out better courses and better uh, lesson videos in the future for you guys and for anyone out there. Um, so very, something very valuable. The seventh way I've made money as an artist is through merchandise, mostly t-shirts. You know, this is something I really don't focus on, something that I could expand in the future uh, when I put more energy into it and time. But for now, uh, it's up there, it's available. It's sometimes it's good to just have the foundation there for a certain source of income, even though you're not generating a whole lot of revenue from it yet. Hopefully soon in the future I will. So the eighth way I've made money as an artist, it's something a little bit different. So it's music. This one, maybe most artists, you know, like I said, this is something that's personal to me. Not every artist is going to make music or not every visual artist is going to make music and make money this way. This is just something I've done over the past. I've been making it since I was a teenager, like since 13 or 14. And then when I got my first computer and when I was 16, I just started making, you know, hip hop music and piano instrumentals and playing guitar and all kinds of stuff. So it's just something fun for me and I use the music that I create in my YouTube videos. So, and if somebody wants to, to support me or they like my music, they can purchase a track. So the last way that I make money as an artist finally is through Patreon and donations from my supporters, from my subscribers, everyone that follows me. Uh, you know, if, if they like my work and support me, they can support me monthly on Patreon. Most artists feel like, oh, I don't want to ask for donations. I don't want to feel like I'm begging. But what I've realized is like, I'm not forcing anyone to do anything. It's a way for your, your supporters to directly support you. If they don't want to purchase a piece of art or a lesson video or something that you create, they can just send you five bucks every month or just send five bucks here or there and be like, hey, I, I like what you do. Thanks for doing it. I appreciate you. And they can support you. And I appreciate every single person that supports me in that way very much greatly appreciated so after hearing all those ways that i make money as as an artist i'm sure it's overwhelming and you got to realize that i didn't set up these nine streams of income so far overnight and a lot of people think that i'm probably making a living full time from what i do but it's definitely not the case i'm not making anywhere near enough to support myself uh, as making a living so for right now it's still just a side hobby for me even though i have these nine streams of income like i said some of them are very very small every month, you know, maybe hundred bucks per year or something like that. Very, very small, but these have the potential to grow and that's the important thing. And I feel like the more I keep doing this, the more I'm learning how to run a business and how to handle things because going to college, they didn't really teach us a whole lot about business or how to make a living. So it's something as artists, we kind of have to figure out on our own, unfortunately. Post down below any other streams of income that you've used as an artist or you've seen other artists use uh, to make a living. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Peace.